Hi, it's Mother Geek here and today I want to show you this Sylvanian Family's convertible car. It's suitable for kids aged 3 and over and I'll just quickly show you the box. There you go. So that's the roof going up and down there. Now let's get this box open. So there on the inside of the box it shows you how the roof goes up and down. Um, let's get the box open now. So this is just a cardboard support. We'll get rid of that. Next up we've got the instructions and the license plate stickers there. And finally we've got the car itself. I'll just move the box out of the way there. Now let's just get this wrapper off. Okay, so there's the car. Now I think I'm just going to have to remove this bit of cardboard here so I can clip the hood on. So I'll just do that now. There we go. Now let's just have a look inside the car here. So you can see the steering wheel there and it does move. No pedals underneath and this, I'm not sure, it looks a bit like a cup holder possibly. Hmm, what do you think? Oh, actually, no, there's two cup holders down there. Hmm. So, the roof. It lifts up like that and it pops into place and then the convertible car's got a roof on there. Car is free rolling, so it doesn't rev or anything. The doors don't open. The boot doesn't open. The underside looks like that. The roof does pop up and down really easily and smoothly. Now I've brought a couple of Sylvanians along just to pop them into the car so you can see exactly how it looks with characters in there. So let's see, we've got the daddy in the driver's seat there and mummy meerkat can be the passenger. Now strictly speaking this is a two-seater car there's no seat belts there, so you will have to drive carefully, I guess. And they both look pretty comfy in there. Daddy doesn't really reach the steering wheel. Oops, just fold that back down there. So, I don't know if you can see there. He just about reaches the steering wheel if he's sat slightly forward. So, they both look pretty comfy in there. There aren't any seat belts but the roof does go on so they can drive along with the roof up as well which is cool I'll just stick that back down and I think we will just stick the license plates on now so let's get this packet undone and get these stickers on Oh, it's a bit fiddly I hate putting these stickers on there we go, that's the front done and now for the back Let's press that down. Okay, so there's the second plate on. Now, here's the meerkat children. We've got a brother and sister there. Let's just see if these guys fit in the car as well. So at the back, you've got like a little parcel shelf there. Strictly speaking, it isn't seats, but if your kids are anything like mine, then I'm sure the children of your Sylvanians will end up sat there too. So let's just see how they look if we sit the children in the front, so in the passenger seat. So they do fit there, they are a bit lost in the seat and I reckon they'd fall out pretty easily. To be honest they are definitely um, more secure on the parcel shelf so that's quite cool. My husband I think will liken this to a Porsche 911 which has two tiny seats in the back. So I'm sure he'll be uh, very excited when he sees this later on. So you can't put the roof up if the children are sat on the parcel shelf. So unfortunately it's top down for a family outing. They do stay in situ though, they're not falling off there when I'm pushing it around which is great. So let's just have another look at the car. As I mentioned the doors don't open, the wheels do spin freely. The boot doesn't open and the bonnet doesn't open either. I can't wait now for my three-year-old to see this car. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Bye!